Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. Well, I got myself something in the mail a few days ago. Pretty cool stuff. I think any of you that's seen my recent video will know what this is. Just put out a video recently about Geiger bars, and it being my guilty pleasure for silver stacking. And during that video, I realized I was missing a particular type of Geiger bar. So why don't we go ahead and take a look. Alright, so if you watch that video, you'll know that I commented on not having any of these. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link down below. And I would encourage you to go watch it. I think it's a pretty good video. It's got some really cool Geiger bars in it. If you like Geiger, you got to watch it. If you're not familiar with them, take a look at it. Because it's got some really cool stuff in there. Alright, but I didn't have any of these particular type. I had the size, but I didn't have them. And assay is what they call it in the plastic hard case. I'll show you that here in a second. Let me get this open. Let me see what they did here. It looks like they a nice piece of tape across here. Almost doing an unboxing without doing an unboxing. All right. Guess I'm just going to have to cut this thing open because this thing is taped mighty fine. All right. That's good. I don't mind them wrapping it up nice and securely like that. Let's go ahead and get these out of here. Put that aside. So these are Geiger bars and assay, which is what this plastic case is. So these are the five grammars. If we look down here, uh, it's going to be a little hard to see. Five grams. Geiger original, made in Germany. If we flip it over. We'll see the certificate is built into this case. See certificate right there. And we can see five grams, 999 silver, production manager. And they've also got the security features. The blue ink there says LEV inside that uh, diamond. And then you've got your serial numbers. So let me see. You know what? I always check to see if I got consecutive serial numbers. What's this one? Nope. That one was 804. That one's 875. You know, it's not a gotta have, but it's a pretty, pretty good, nice to have, right? What's that one? 874. Just looking at the last three digits here. Or sorry, 871. Let's look at this one, 867, so I'm sure they get these in in boxes and they just grab five out and throw them in there to ship, 805, so yeah, they're not consecutive, but I ended up picking up five of them, so five, five grams, so it'd be a little less than an ounce, and I got these for a pretty good price, you know, my resource that I usually pick this up from had some available, but they were actually a little bit more than what I paid for these. Boy, anytime I move my fingers out here, look, it leaves a scratch on this stuff. Huh, guess I better not be scratching that mat, huh? Well, not very tolerant of uh, anything touching it. Hmm. All right. So, yep. So, just a little bit less than an ounce, 25 grams. And it's the Geiger and assay. And adding to my guilty pleasures and like I said I had five grams but they were loose just having some plastic baggies that didn't have the uh, hard plastic covering and the loose ones are fine if you go back to that video you'll see I've got about 30 ounces uh, 31 ounces of uh, the Geiger you know just with, without the assay just baggies I did have some in assay as well but I just thought to kind of complete the collection, it would be nice to have a few of these. I didn't, didn't go hog wild and again, got them for a really good price off of eBay. Uh, pretty good seller out there and uh, shipped them to me fast, got them within a couple days. And uh, pretty cool, because of the price I went ahead and bought them. In fact it was quite a bit lower than what you see uh, auctions for on the uh, 
brow ones with, without the assay. So I wanted to just, like I said, get a, get a few for the uh, Guilty Pleasure uh, stack and have them uh, have them available in the silver stack of Geiger bars. So there you have it, huh? A train of Geiger bars. All right, so what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Getting some of these for the for the stack. And also one other thing I'd like to say, and I'll also put a link to it at the bottom as well, is that I did a really good video on Geiger and their history. And it's got some production footage of being inside the factory and what they're doing in there. Uh, again, I'll put a link to that as well, but um, I think you should check that out. I think you'd really enjoy that video. Geiger's been around for a long time, since the 1200s, over there in Germany. And uh, they're, uh, they're a pretty cool minting company. They mint a lot of different things for a lot of different places. They do the Noah's Ark for Armenia, both the silver and the gold. And, uh, you know, many, many, many other things as well. So why don't you pop on over and take a look at that one as well, because I think you'd really enjoy it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the look of the Geiger bars and assay. Just look at this one. This one might, might have a little chip on it. Doesn't look like it's been opened, but it looks like maybe it was dropped. Huh, I'll have to take a look at that. I got a better look. Maybe it got banged while it was being shipped. I'll let the seller know. Just uh, say, hey, you're sending out a little bit of crack case. Don't appreciate it, but still, it's fine. It's a five gram silver bar, right? All right, folks, that's it. Thank you for watching. And always remember, let's keep talking bullion.